Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. And if you want to learn more about our Sports Accelerator program, then visit the description below. There's a number of ways that you can either book a free call with me to apply for the program, or you can get more information and you can have a check out all the links that we have which will give you an insight into the coaches that we've worked with, the testimonials, the great results we've had with, with clients. Uh, so that can give you guys a little bit more trust in what we do. And if you then want to book a call with us, then you can do that. Just visit the description below this video. So today I want to talk about six marketing must-haves to boost your soccer camp enrollment. Now, last week I was talking with a coach. We had a we had a short ten minute meeting, and we were talking about his upcoming soccer camps. All right, for those that have been watching the channel for for a while now, and for those that maybe just this is your first video that you've you've come across, I predominantly work in the soccer training industry. So, well, the soccer industry. So, I talk with a lot of coaches and trainers who are in the soccer world. And something I, I help them to specialize in is I help them to put together programs such as one-on-one -on -one training, a small group, a open group, camps, clinics, and essentially put systems in place where they can boost their revenue, become more organized, and essentially boost their, their clientele. All right, so I want to share with you six things that I spoke to this coach about, and these are six things that I shared with him. So if you're thinking of running an upcoming soccer camp in your area, right, there's six things that I think of that will help you in terms of marketing and boosting your, your, your camp enrollment. Right, the first one is targeted advertisement. Right, so something I always say to coaches when they're looking to start uh, camps or clinics is get familiar on where your clients are, right? So if you're working in, in the sports industry and you're working with youth players, ultimately your clients are going to be parents, right? Parents are the ones that have the money. Parents are the ones that are going to be able to pay for their child to do training with you. So you have to work out where they are. Are they on Facebook? Are they on Instagram? Are they on YouTube? Are they on LinkedIn? Right. And when you learn where they are, the next thing you can do is two ways. Either learn how to run targeted paid ads or you can hire a company out to do them for you. But figuring out what platform is the best one to use to run targeted advertisement will help you to boost your uh, soccer camp enrollment numbers. Right now, the first, the second one is social media campaigns. So when we work with coaches on this, when we talk about social media campaign, this refers more to having a process in place for the upcoming camp. So if, for example, your camp is in four weeks time, what type of campaign can we run on Facebook, on Instagram, so that we can build up a social proof for the client and the parent that wants to join the camp. So for example, you can share Pre share videos, um, highlights, pictures of previous camps or sessions that you've run and how your upcoming camps get great results. Right? You can also share testimonials, success stories, and share anything that you feel that will be of value to parents who come across your social media page and want to learn more about what essentially your business does and how your camps will benefit their child. The third one is influencer partnerships. So something that we have helped coaches in the past to do, especially in, in soccer, is partner up with local colleges or universities and specifically local 
coaches who work for local schools. So what you can do is you can use your networking skills to partner up with a local university or a local college coach and use their influence to promote your camp. Now, something you can do is you can have them as a guest, a guest speaker, a guest coach onto your camp. And if they've got a big following on social media or a big email list, right, you can use them to leverage their audience, right? So they can, through their social media or their networks, promote your soccer camp, right? If they're going to be attending, if they're going to be a guest speaker on it, if they're going to be coaching at your camp, right, you can get them to promote your camp to their audience, right? And this is what we call influencer partnerships, right? How's that going to help to boost your, your enrollment? Well, it's going to help because if that coach coaches at a reputable organization, such as a college or university, this could also be a, a, a club in your local area, right? Any organization that has access to a lot of kids, a lot of parents, that, that's going to get your brand exposed to more parents and more kids. And essentially, if parents respect that coach and that influencer, then they will take action and enroll, for you, enroll onto your camp because they know that that coach or that person will be doing the camp. Right, so that's the third one. The fourth one is community outreach. Right, so community outreach is essentially getting in, getting out into your local community, such as schools, YMCA's, other other centres, and talking to people about your camps. Right, so you could form organize um, local partnerships with uh, community centres, sports centres local schools, they could be elementary schools, they could be high school uh, schools, and just go and do a presentation about your upcoming camps, okay? If you want more help with this, right, this is something I want you to reach out to me personally, because this is something we help coaches with, but community mm -hmm. outreach can be really powerful, and if you build the right networks, get in front of enough people in your, in your local area, that is definitely going to help you to boost your enrollment numbers. Now, the next one is ref a referral program. So something we teach you with our coaches who join our Sports Accelerator program is that what we do is we encourage coaches that once they have enough clients, so if you're a, a new coach, you've joined the Accelerator program, you're learning about selling and marketing, you're getting new clients. Once you have a certain amount of clients into your, into your business, then what we can look to do is now to start to run camps and clinics. And the best way to do this is to set up a referral program with the current clients that you have. Okay, so what you could do is if you've got 10 or 12 current clients that you work with, even in groups or one-on-one, or, or -on -one, you can reach out to them, say, hey, Mrs. Jones, we have an upcoming camp or clinic. Um, and I'm just reaching out to see if your son would like to do it. And if they would, then we would be we would love to set up a referral program for you where you can get the camp or clinic for free if you refer someone to the camp. OK, this could be referring or this could be bring a friend, right? Someone that they bring that registers onto the camp, you could provide them either with a discount or the camp for free. Okay, there's, there's coaches that have offered these camps for free. There's coaches that provide a 15, 20, 25, 50% discount to that camp. But that is a, ref, the, a referral program that helps you to boost your, your camp numbers. Now, the last one is essentially having a website and a registration process. So having a good website where you can funnel parents into your registration process. So why we want to do this? We want to do this because 
Number one, you've got to learn how to do SEO. So if you've got a website, you want to make sure you learn SEO so you can rank up on Google at the top. So when parents look for soccer camps in their local area, your website is coming up first. Once that website comes up first, parents will click on that website, have, have a look at your upcoming camps or clinics, right? and then from there, they will be able to register onto your camp. Now, why is this effective? Because you can run online payments, you can gather parent information, and once you have all that data from them, you can then sell them on to other services or products that your, your, your academy or your business offers. Okay? But you need to have a good website. You need to learn how to do SEO so you, you rank high on Google. Once people search you, they click on you, they land on your website and they can register online where they pay online. You collect their name, number, uh, email address so that once they complete the camp, you can then contact them for either a survey or a follow-up call to try to sell them onto something else that you guys offer, okay? So these are six ways that you can market to boost your upcoming soccer camps or clinics, okay? If you need more help, visit the description below and I'll see you on the next video.